Hi guys, this is Poet Spice, and I'm here to do a flip through of some books that I have gotten. This one I've had, and I think I did a flip through before, is Drawing and Painting Beautiful Faces with Jane Davenport, which I love her style. And you guys, like I put, I got this book before she did the whole, you know, everything was in Michaels and everything, but, um, so I've had this one for a while. And I love her, I love her style and like the richness of it and everything. And it's just all quirky and stuff. Yay. I love her style. And then since I had this book and I saw a video of this one drawing fabulous, I heart drawing fabulous figures, I was of course going to get this one. Now, here's the story of this book. <laughs> It was on Amazon and I tried to order it on Amazon and then it sold out so I was waiting for it to come back and then it came, it was it took forever it was like a month and a half oh, da, 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 da. then it came back for like 50 seconds and I'm like okay yep couldn't get it then I'm like waiting 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 and they're like well you can you know you can pay for it and then we'll let you know when it cut you know when it's in stock well I don't like doing that because you never know when something's gonna come in stock and I'm like mm -mm. so finally they had it back in and it was like oh you can get it now so I got it yay <laughs> I got it yay so this is the book I showed in my previous haul and I love I've read part of it so you can see that I've read let's see not all of it but part of it and so so far I'm liking the book and I was going to do a flip through. Let's start off with how it feels and its size. It is a very large book. It's almost nine inches, so we're talking like eight and three quarters, a little over by almost 10 and three quarters. It's like 10 and I'm looking at it the wrong way. Like 10 and 5 eighths or something like that. Uh, no. Yep. Like 10 and 5 eighths. So it's a very odd size book, number one. It's, and it's larger than you expect. At least I expected. It has a very thick cover. So if you can see that. So it has a very thick cover, which is lovely. And I like the way it feels because it, it's not quite that suede feel that you get from some books but it has a different feel than slick paper or your typical book cover it feels more like a journal cover you know what I'm saying um, and then of course the letters are all glossy there you go full color so that's always fabulous and you have pieces of her artwork in here that she shows you and then the pages they remind me of that shiny paper from magazines, but but thicker than that. So you can hear how thick that is. Okay, but it is shiny paper versus um, a matte finish. So then, of course, you've got your acknowledgments and stuff, your table of contents. And I like that she put her own artwork pieces in here. That's pretty cool. Okay, so you have your table of contents, material girl. I give you my heart, sweethearts, get your heart moving, those kind of things. So she's got 10 chapters, collage education about the author, and then there's an index. Always love an index in a book. Um, the other thing is you can pretty much push it down to lay it flat. I don't like breaking the spine of my books, but you can pretty much do it without breaking the spine, which is always wonderful in our book. Um, she gives you some advice on, you know, your creative space. She gives you this little chart about check out, you know, testing your tools, which I'm not very good at because I'm kind of like, I need to see what this looks like now because I won't remember. It doesn't matter if I do a chart with stuff or not. I'm not going to remember. So I pretty much do mine as I go which is why if you see me do coloring, I always have like a little swatch page next to me. I don't do a whole swatch and then like a color chart and fill it out and do that because it doesn't work for me. Okay, so then you have joyful practice and then chapter one is give my heart. So she talks about her heart um, process, which 
obviously I'm not going to give you all those information pieces about that because that's why you got to buy the book. But then she has your sweetheart. And this section talks about movement and how to get your things moving. And then she talks about some drawing with ink and the different proportions. So that's pretty cool. And I will say this. Um, if you have studied figure drawing and they talk about the figure is like five heads high or seven heads high, she does it in a different way. And it made so much more sense when she said it in this book. And I was like, well, that makes way more sense than the seven heads high. Because you're like, okay, well, um, just because it's seven heads high doesn't really help me. <laughs> so if you're the type of person who can't figure that part out, it, it, you might get what she's talking about. I thought as soon as I read what she said, I was like, well, that makes so much more sense. <clears throat> than that whole seven heads high thing. So you can see this is where I'm at, moving the pieces around. And although she recommends at the beginning that you try things out as you read, I'm one of those people who has to read everything first and then I can go back because I'm more of the whole picture type person versus do it in pieces. I don't like doing stuff like that. I gotta know where I'm going and then I can go back and break it down. So this section, I have no idea because I didn't read this yet. Okay, then she starts talking about heads. So how to do heads and all that kind of stuff. All right, so definitely, I love the, I love her, her colors and stuff. So here's a question for those people. Then she does a hair section. For those people who use Jane Davenport uh, products on the regular, I was considering getting some of her watercolors. I have her mermaid markers from the first release of mermaid markers. I have not used them yet and I've had them for like eight months. <clears throat> um, and also her acrylic paints. So if you have any of those, let me know how you like them in the comments below. Okay, so she talks about hair and then body of work. And talks about real life and then she gives you some neck and hands. And I thought it was really cool that she gave you information on hands because those to me are hard to draw. And she talks about ankles and stuff like that as well. So that's always cool. All right, then she gets to putting clothes on. So you know, you talk about clothes and everything and all that fanciness. So it's really, so far it's a really good book. And I was like, so what? <laughs> okay, um, the audition, I don't know what that's about. Like I said, I haven't read all of this yet. Um, personal message for you. I'll tell you, my two favorite mixed media artists, well, there's three, are Jane Davenport, Tam Laporte, which is Willowing, and Mistelle. I can't remember her other, her last name. I love their stuff. I like their process anyway. Um, you get, she tells you more about the e-course, because this was an a e-course. And I wanted to take it a, a long time ago. The only thing about the e-course is you don't get to download the videos. And other courses like Lifebook and some other um, online art courses, I looked at, you could download the videos and watch them anytime that you wanted. So to me, it was more expensive to take that course and then you don't have the videos for reference in the future. So I was like, mm-mm. So when she put out this book, I was like, yep, that's right in my alley of what I want to pay. Okay. So then um, she gives you stickers with her artwork, which are fabulous. Aren't they cute? So adorable. I like this because that's the cover. And I like this one up here because there are some brown girls in it. You can't see that. Let me move that down. Because there are some brown girls in it. And, um... I'm just going to say this. It made me really, it really annoyed me because I had a comment one time about somebody who was like, well, what does having a brown girl have anything to do with it? And I was like, the simple fact that you have to ask that question tells me. <laughs> and that's the reason. Okay. So it always makes me happy when I see some brown girls in the crafting community, journaling and so forth like that. Um, then she gives you the little hearts in the back and the little paper doll to play with. And 
was the index. I must have passed the index. Paper dolls to play with, with your art, and then a little envelope to keep your little pieces in. So, fabulous book. I would definitely recommend it so far, particularly if you know how to do some drawing. Um, like, if you're a total beginner, I don't know about that because I, I don't know. <laughs> but if you are at least somewhat familiar with drawing, definitely a good one. Okay, so then if you do not have Fabulous Faces, I did read all of this. So I would definitely go back and recommend this one as well because she does a little bit of faces in here and breaks it down, but this book is all about faces. So, gives you information on hair and eyes and setting up the color and shading and so forth. So, yeah. Isn't that beautiful? Love that hair color. I think she said rainbow technicolor or something in one video. I don't know. But I like that she has all this color. And she uses blue. <laughs> and y'all know I love me some blue. So here's just a quick flip through of this one. So I would definitely recommend both of these for your alts. Okay. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, leave a comment below, thumbs up, share, and check it out on my Poet Spice Bibliosquire channel as well. Bye. Thank you for watching.